Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you to you guys because there's almost 5,000 of you. 5,000 subscribers and in honor of that, in honor of all of your sweet, kind words and messages and support, I want to give back to you guys. I'm going to be doing a giveaway with items from my small business. To enter the giveaway, you only have to do three things. Number one, just like this video. Number two, leave a comment down below. It could be anything like your favorite ice cream or if you don't like ice cream. I don't know. Who doesn't like ice cream? And then number three, give my small business page a follow on Instagram. It's at Freckle Babe Boutique. Everything will be linked down below in the description box to follow the directions. The winner will be announced on my Instagram a week from the time that this video is posted, so stay tuned for that. You're probably wondering what the heck is even in the giveaway, and I'm gonna show you here quickly. We have this cute notebook that says sunshine state of mind and then this nursing school foldable clipboard has little cheat sheets on front and back opens up so HIPAA your papers are covered and all of that and it fits perfectly in your scuff pocket I love it I use one myself every time I'm in clinical and then a keychain here that has a pen highlighter and sharpie that you can attach to your badge rail a badge rail I love this one it's this cute little leaf print with silicone and wood beads and then a stethoscope sticker a keychain and a shirt from Picmonic. <laughs> I love it. It says hip hip hooray. So that is what is in the giveaway. You only have to do three things to enter and let's get into a week in my life as a nursing student. Documenting, ooh, camper, no, no, no. <laughs> documenting my experiences and sharing my journey with you guys, and I'm so excited to continue sharing. Camper, no, 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 no. He's going through puberty. All right. Hi. I hope you guys are doing awesome. Camper says hi. Hi. Why are you so sad? I struggle so much. I wish he could just talk to me and tell me how he's feeling, if he's sad, if he's hungry, if he needs to go pee. I just need him to talk to me. That's my biggest problem these days. I thought it would be fun to bring you guys along for a week in my life as a nursing student. This is really my final full week of this term because the following week I have finals and then my term is over. So. I have clinical tomorrow, I have my last class, I have to volunteer this week, I work, I nanny, I have a lot going on, I have to study for finals, I also have a huge clinical assignment that's going to be due Saturday, and then I have all of my last minute assignments that are catching up with me that are due at the end of the term, so this will be a really productive busy busy week and i'm super excited to bring you guys along for it today is sunday it's actually sunday night it's very late i was intending on sitting down and chatting with you guys a lot earlier but i can't find my dang stethoscope i was looking for it for about an hour fingers crossed it shows up somewhere i'm thinking like maybe it fell out of my bag into one of my friends cars like a carpool with people to school so I just don't think that that's the case. I feel like they would have said something, so I kind of need it for a clinical tomorrow, but we'll figure it out. Everything always works out just fine. I always try to get everything clean and organized on Sunday just to prepare myself for the week and just set myself up for success so I'm not as stressed out as I could be. Are you okay? <laughs> there it goes. 
I'm sorry, buddy. Um, he drinks his water too fast. I did a lot of laundry today, cleaned my room, got some things organized. I just have one more thing I need to do before I go to bed, and that is pack my lunch. I'm going to show you guys my clinical bag because I have that set up with my clothes. I just tend to like to pack my lunch and snacks the night before if I'm up for it and I'm being a responsible nursing student because it just alleviates stress in the morning. It's just nice to just grab it and go. So I'm not really that tired even though it's 10 30 and I should be tired and I should be going to bed because I have to be up at like four. Here we are. Welcome to a chaotic week in my life as a nursing student. I have my clothes laid out here, my long sleeve, my scrub top, my scrub bottoms. I always bring a long sleeve because I am absolutely freezing in the hospital. And then honestly what I do in the morning is I throw this all in the dryer so it's toasty and cozy and warm when I put it on. I have my badge here with my hospital badge, my ID and all of that and then I also have my little pen and sharpie and then my bra, my socks and my watch. And then down here I just have my clinical bag set up. Um, Got some Germex right there and just kind of miscellaneous papers, nothing special. I don't bring my computer with me to the hospital because it's pointless. I am not going to have time to get on it and there's really no reason. But I do have my planner in here and then my clipboard that fits into my scrub pocket. Honestly, this is a little bit unorganized, but this is the reality. Um, this is just various paperwork from school. What else do we have in here? Oh yeah, my pencil bag with my pens, highlighters, my lovely stethoscope case that does not have my lovely stethoscope in it. Man, I really hope I figure out where the heck that thing's at because that costs me some money. What else is in here? Oh yeah, and then some masks, some tampons, my AirPods, chapstick, lip gloss gum, candy, all the essentials. So yeah, got my clinical bag set up so I can just grab it and go in the morning. And then my clothes, like I said, I like to throw those in the dryer so they're cozy, toasty, warm. Mm. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this and pack some snacks in there and then head to bed. in the morning I need to head out now and meet up with my carpool group because I have clinical all day from 6 30 to 7 30 ish 8 so it's gonna be a long day but I have a feeling it's going to be 
really really good day i'm really looking forward to being back at the hospital being on the floor learning a lot and yeah it's gonna be a really good day but i need to get the heck out of here because i am running behind as per usual whoopsies oh my god do you hear camper in the background that is the hardest part every morning is leaving him i, I gotta go before i I keep hearing him whimper and then I decide to stay home from school, but grab my stuff here. I have my tea, my water, and my lunch bag, and then I have my clinical bag right here. I am home from my clinical day. Sorry if you hear that weird noise in the background. That's Camper chewing on something that he probably shouldn't be chewing on. Actually, let's investigate. What are you eating? Oh, just a bone. You missed him so much. Did you miss me though? <laughs> He's a chunker these days. I don't think he missed me. He wasn't that excited to see me. I feel disgusting. I need to change and get in the shower and wash my body but um i just got home it's really late it feels really late it's nine o'clock granted i've been up since four o'clock so um, it's been a really really long day but i'm just gonna give you guys a brief update and then i want to relax and then i'll go into more depth tomorrow about my day but i had no idea what floor i was gonna be on at the hospital today we kind of just find out when we get there which honestly isn't the most ideal thing because if you know you're gonna be on a certain floor you can prepare certain skills you know brush up on them and kind of just maybe watch videos and get familiar with them again for example skills in the ICU are a little bit different than skills in the ED so yeah we never really know where we're gonna be but I was in the ICU today and I honestly had a phenomenal day I had such a great day and this is my second experience in the ICU. I had a clinical rotation last year there, but it was for such a short period of time. It was only a couple of hours. I actually had a really great time then. I loved my nurse, but today was absolutely awesome. I was with a travel nurse and she was fantastic. Like I say, so much of your learning experience in the hospital is really detrimental on I mean you of course but also who you're paired with when you are working side by side with an RN in the hospital it can really make or break your day I know I'm not the only one that thinks that but I had an awesome nurse got to do so many cool things really got comfortable with NG tubes did some IVs really like giving IVs like something is so satisfying about them I feel like I could see myself becoming one of those people that's like certified in um, power glides and pick lines I never would have thought I would have liked that stuff but yeah I did a couple things like that and past meds talked to my patients learned so much had a fabulous day I'll talk to you guys more about it tomorrow but I need to change I need to take a shower trust me you do not want to i was gonna say you don't want to smell me but you can't smell me through the camera but after i get out of the shower i have something super exciting i got a package in the mail i might have done some damage i did some black friday shopping from princess polly and uh well let me let me just show you this okay camper is excited for me to open it this is a very large large package but i got a really really good deal so hey it's okay it's okay like i don't know how people wait when they get packages and like I, I have to open it i have to see if i like this stuff so i'm gonna do that tonight and then oh my gosh so much is going on i have an assignment that i need to do i think i can actually do that tomorrow i'm gonna do that tomorrow 
<sighs> okay, I'm gonna take a breather, grab something to eat, take a shower, and then I'll see you guys in a little bit. Surprise, surprise! It's the next day. Hi, yeah, about that. Um, well, I had every intention of hanging out with you more last night, but the truth is I took a shower, I ate some food, and I went straight to bed. I don't know why I thought that I was gonna have energy to hang out and try on clothes and stuff because I'm always so, so stinking pooped after my clinical day. It's because it's not just a regular 12 hour shift, it's like three hours of commuting and driving and then we have debriefing with our clinical group after. Today is Tuesday, good morning, good afternoon, should I say. I am working today. I just had a phone call this morning that, um, well, it was it was a meeting phone call situation and I'm just so relieved that it is officially over. I am, camper, what are you eating? No, you cannot be eating that. <sighs> Somebody help me. I need to, oh, Wow, well, we are really close here. I need to go and then... What is he doing? Okay, I need to go. I need to go pick up Oliver from school. I am watching the kiddos for the day, taking them to a doctor's appointment, and then coming home tonight and we're gonna work on an assignment together that is due tomorrow morning. This was like an assignment I knew about from the beginning of the term that I just kind of pushed to the side because that's the kind of student I've been being lately and I do not recommend it, but I will show you guys all about that tonight because I just want to get it done tonight because tomorrow morning I have class, so hello! I hope you guys are doing awesome today. The best co-pilot ever. When he's a good boy. Camper. He literally has poop stains in his mouth because I'm pretty sure he was just eating deer poop. <sighs> What's new? Really wouldn't be surprised if that were the case because you never fail to surprise me. God, he's so dang cute though. Y'all watch him? Is rainbow or golden? For what? Mascara! Mascara, mm, what do you think I should pick? Probably golden, maybe rainbow. Maybe both? What about one rainbow and one golden? No, I'm just going to do rainbow. Okay. Maybe it's here. <laughs> He's so cute. We know white. I want more options. Okay. Orange or white. That's it? Yeah. Orange. Why okay. do I pick orange? Because it's your favorite color. Mm -hmm, good job. I have to get my eye in it. I <laughs> love <laughs> you. Okay. Now pick your hair. Let's do orange. Ooh. What color do you want your hair to be? Orange. Again. How about a different color? Okay, what else? Red or yellow. Yellow. No, red. It's a pretty color. Like hearts. And now you're going to get a tattoo. What shape do you want? <laughs> well, uh, what shape do you think I should get? No option. That's two. A heart or diamond? Mm. I think I like diamond. No. You want me to pick a heart? Okay, a heart. I am currently at the kiddos school. I'm gonna pick up the girls right now. However, I am waiting for them to come out. So I figured I could use this time as an opportunity to talk to you a little bit more about my day in the ICU yesterday. The more I think about it, I don't really have much more to say because obviously HIPAA, like I can't go into too much about my patients and various things like that, which I totally get, but also is really sad because I want to share it all with you guys. I had just a phenomenal day. I think a lot of it has to do with that I'm in my second year of nursing school and we're having full 12 hour clinical days. So we're really able to see what an actual day as a nurse looks like in each of these clinical rotations, whether that be on the medical floor or in the ICU. We are there for a report in the morning and then we give report in the evening. So we're there the entire day and we really get a nice little taste of what it's like. Also, I think what's really nice is that 
I just feel more comfortable in the hospital setting and with that being said I'm just able to learn more I'm not as anxious and like nervous and freaked out to enter a patient's room I feel just more comfortable and confident in myself and we've kind of gone through a majority of the fundamentals and basic skills in nursing and so now is just our time to implement everything we learn in school on the floor and have these amazing opportunities to practice our skills and learn gain knowledge from our nurses and just be there present in the moment and absorb everything that we can and lastly I think what helps is we are now able to care for COVID patients. My experience last year in the ICU, I guess I felt like I wasn't able to do a lot but the time being I really wasn't able to do a lot in the ICU because we hadn't even gone over so many of the skills that they do in the ICU so I just observed a little bit more so this was just totally different it was amazing I cared for two patients and they were both there for completely different reasons one was intubated sedated and then the other one was alert and oriented. I was able to have this variety in my experiences while caring for them and I got to do several different skills. I was with an amazing nurse, which is always so, so beneficial. I was able to see tube feedings. That's something that I've never seen before and I don't know why I had this weird, weird image in my head of what they looked like that you're like, actually have like a giant tube in your putting food down it okay yeah don't ask me was able to hang medications so do piggybacks do IV medications and get really comfortable with IV poles and then the IV pumps we go over them in a clinical like on my school campus we have like pumps there and then we have you know saline bags but it is so different doing that there and then being at the hospital because at school we're just pretending and we're just inputting random stuff and you have like the lining and the tubing and then you flip it and then you plug it and then it's just really confusing and so I got to do that probably over 10 times with piggybacks and I feel so much more comfortable doing that it's the thing it can all seem so overwhelming and nerve-wracking but the more you do it the easier it gets and the just more comfortable you are doing it so you're more relaxed i just learned a lot of knowledge with the medication it's interesting to see common medications on each floor because nurses in the icu are familiar with very different medication than nurses on the medical floor so that's something that was different days like that remind me of why i'm going through nursing school because don't get me wrong, nursing school is amazing and I've met some amazing people too, but it is difficult at times. It's not linear. There's these ebbs and flows where you're, you're chilling, you're relaxing, and then it all hits you at once. So it was just good to be in the hospital and just have a reminder of why I'm doing what I'm doing and to be there caring for patients. So I feel like that is all I really wanted to say. I'm trying to think don't want to forget anything but oh yeah I want to say this to you if you are having a clinical rotation soon regardless of the floor that you're going to be working on just remember to take advantage of your time there you know I have had moments where I've been intimidated and I've said no to doing things. I mean, obviously say no if you are 100% not comfortable, if it's out of your scope of practice. You should be able to say no, that's not what I'm saying. There were just times where I should have said yes and I said no to doing skills and this is me just reminding you that everybody has to do something for the first time at some point. So all these nurses and doctors that you are surrounded with, they gave an IV, they gave a Foley catheter, they inserted an NG tube. They all have a first time that they did it. And I promise you, they were probably nervous to some degree. Everybody's different, but just remember that, you know, clinical rotations can seem scary, especially if you don't have any experience in the hospital like myself. I had no prior experience. It can just be intimidating and don't let it be. You are there to learn and the people that you are surrounded with, they can clearly see you're a student. Really just don't be afraid to just get in there and, and, and do your best. That is my little spiel for the day. I just think about myself when I was just starting nursing school and I was a scared little fishy and I'm still scared about certain things don't get me wrong but I definitely try to push myself more because nothing feels better than 
doing that than stepping out of your comfort zone and surprising yourself because you truly will. Seriously, drooling right now. <laughs> Good evening. It is much, much later. Eight o'clock. Hi. I know you get away from my food. This is not a good idea. I have ramen sitting on my bed and this is not a good idea. He is just inching his way closer and closer. Um, <laughs> don't you wag your little dad. No, no, no. Hi, so. I finished nannying the kiddos and I got home. What have I even been doing? I don't even... Oh, sorry, hold on. I need to handle this. But yeah, I don't know what I've been doing for the past two hours. I took a shower. Oh, that's good. And then I made some really nutritious ramen that I'm staring at right now. Health, baby health. I'm going to eat this very nutritional dinner, watch something. And then I need to get started on my assignment. It shouldn't take that long. I'm thinking maybe an hour. Turn it in tonight. Be done with it. It's due tomorrow morning at 9. <laughs> and then... Oh my god. This cute little face. How do you say no to that? I just love you. <laughs> I have my computer right here. Um... At the end of every class, every term, we have an assignment called our course objectives. So for example, when I was in three classes, we had three separate course objectives for each class. Since I'm only in one class this term, I only have one to do, thank God, because they kind of just sneak up on you at the end of the term, unless you're really on top of your assignments, which if you are, well, good for you. <laughs> I used to be like that and then, I don't know. I don't know what's happening to me. It's not good. For example, I have the assignment here and then I'm just attaching the rubric and I have to go in and write a couple different paragraphs saying how I met these course objectives. Conduct a health assessment that is in-depth, evidence-based, family-centered, in relation to ADLs, and manifestations of psychiatric diagnosis. Mm. What else do we have here? Communicate in agencies involved with patient care. Um, analyze the impact of health care, delivery system issues, policy and financing. Just a lot of what I like to call kind of busy work. I need to just do this and get it over with because I've been putting it off for far too long, obviously. And yeah. Just need to get done. All finished. What's up? You just made your voice a lot deeper. What's up? Good morning, guys. We are headed to school. Not together, separately. Separately. She is like 100 years old. <laughs> so, yeah, I am on my way to school. Well, I need to leave in a minute. Um, New. Nope. Yeah, this is our official last day of class in nursing school. Well, oh, this is our... This soon. is... This is our last class for this term, and then we have finals next week, so we don't even have a lesson plan on Canvas. I don't even know what we're doing, so hopefully I'm just going to get some more assignments done in class and be really, really productive. Say bye. Honestly, I don't know what is happening to him. He got a girlfriend, and he just thought he is so cool these days. Tell them about your girlfriend. No. <laughs>
guys. So I just got home from class. We didn't really do much. We had a guest speaker for a couple hours and we went on lunch and then we got together with our clinical groups and started looking over our study guide for our final, which is next week. And everybody kind of dwindled out a little bit early and we all headed home. So I'm home an hour early. And yeah, it's so weird. That is my last class of this term. It went by really dang fast. It really, really did. I cannot believe it's December 1st right now. That blows my mind. It doesn't feel like December if I'm being honest. It just doesn't, it doesn't look like it. It doesn't feel like it. It just seems like it's too soon. It's just weird. Class is officially over. I have a couple more assignments that need to be turned in by the end of this week. And then I'm a free lady. And then I'm gonna be studying for my final. I'm feeling really tired. Like I want to take a nap, but I think I'm going to power through it and um, go to the gym and have a productive evening. <gasps> Hi! Hi! Hi, Bubby! I missed you! I thought it would be fun to kind of do a haul with you guys because I realized I never showed you what I ordered from Princess Polly. Hmm. I also have this other package that I want to open with you guys and show you. So, the last time that Jamie and I were in California together, she had this palette. And it is literally the best palette ever. Oh my gosh, it's like bronzy and glowy and everything you could ever dream of. I was using it every single day, multiple times a day. And then they had a Black Friday sale. So it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit Sun Dipped. I know they have a couple other editions. We saw another one at Ulta that was a little bit lighter. Let me open it with you. It's so happy. I'm not like a huge makeup person. Like I don't know how to do my makeup. I don't wear eyeliner. I don't wear eyeshadow. Very simple. I put concealer, blush, a little bit of mascara, and I fill in my eyebrows sometimes, and that's it. But this is like a game changer. So let me open it up with you guys. Oof. Wow. It really is the best feeling. I don't know how the lighting is going to be and if you can really see the true beautiness of this, but I have never, ever loved something more except camper this lighting doesn't do it justice anyways i highly recommend this to get free shipping i had to order something else this is the anastasia beverly hills dewy set i normally use i think nyx they have a like a dewy setting spray that i always tend to use i am very challenged when it comes to opening stuff <laughs> let's see this is exciting oh gosh this is a beautiful this lighting is not good like you can't see how beautiful this is it's sparkly i'm amazed by this i'll definitely let you guys know how this is but this is making me realize i'm not going to show you these clothes and this lighting because it's horrible i'm going to move so we can see the clothes a little bit better I'm thinking the lighting is actually better right here that was in front of a window so it's just so bright and washed out what do we think i think that this will be better so okay i opened one thing and was so sad and disappointed that i stopped opening everything and i'll show you guys it i really wanted to wear this when i was in california next week it's this really cute set it has it's so sad it has this top really soft material it's just way too big it's just too big i got the medium and large and usually i like to size up in their clothes because their stuff kind of shrinks especially if you put it in the dryer i don't recommend that but it's just baggy all around so i stopped opening the stuff so i'm gonna open the rest on camera with you guys and let's see what we have here i'm gonna have to return that don't know what this is oh this is happy this is a cute black dress. It's actually a romper. Super flowy. I'm excited to wear this. I thought this would be cute with like little heels. You could dress it up or dress it down. Um, as long as it fits, of course. I've been really just liking things oversized and more comfortable. So sometimes I think I just, I order a size up too much and it just, you can't always make it work. Sometimes you can make it work, but ooh, this is exactly what I wanted. 
I got the largest size on this, like I was saying, because I wanted the super oversized. It's just a USA sweatshirt. Super cozy, soft. It's like this cream colored. It has a little flag there. But I wanted it oversized so I could wear it with leggings and it looks like it's gonna work. So that is happy. This is something I was really, really excited about. I meant to order this a couple months ago and I don't know what happened if I forgot to put it in my cart. Wow. Wow, yeah, these are my thing. I love overalls because they're so easy to wear. They're so cozy, comfortable, and they're cute. So these are green, like corduroy overalls. And they're like baggier on the bottoms, like wider, so they're not tight on your legs. Rolled up. I love these. I will be bringing these to California too. I found this sweatshirt. I just really like the colors. It's really soft, that's for sure. I will say I can definitely find sweaters identical to this at TJ Maxx for half the price. I did get a discount because it was Black Friday, but it doesn't have the price on here. I'm sure it was like normally 50 or $60. So I'm gonna try this on and see what I really think of it. And then we will go from there, but it's very soft. I think it's super cute. This looks huge. I did it again. <laughs> this looks way too big. Looks like it's gonna be like, saggy on my butt. It has just that awesome, like, it's good material. Sweater material. It has a collar, buttons, and it's a romper. It has little cute pockets. It just, I can tell it's gonna be too big for me. <sighs> We'll try it on we will see it's so hard when the sizes are like small medium medium large large extra large because chances are you are probably somewhere in between all of that so none of it fits it's really hard to find like that perfect fit Ooh, yay i was excited for this because i like the color it's a brown it's a romper as well but it has cutouts right here i like it i think that this will work i have a blue one that's similar to this and I love it. Really cozy, comfortable. I don't know how many times I'm gonna say cozy, comfortable, but clearly I have one thing on my mind when I wear clothes. And this last thing I know I'm gonna love because I have it in black and I love it. I wore it recently. It's another romper, <laughs> I have a problem. But ooh, it's this like really nice linen material. The one downfall with this material is it does wrinkle really fast. You also don't want to dry it because it will shrink. But let's see if I can do this. It ties in the front. It's like a little front tie. And then it shows like a little peak of your tummy. And it's covered in the back. Super cute. And that is my haul. So I'm gonna have to go in and try all of that on. Sure, it's not all gonna fit, but that is the gamble that you play when you order online. It's just how it is. <gasps> you guys, I have something that is so exciting. This is Camper's advent calendar. <gasps> Are you excited? I got it at Costco a couple weeks ago, so now we are going to open it because it is officially your first treat or toy because it's December 1st. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. You guys, look at this. Costco is amazing. This was definitely worth the price. I'm gonna assume that's a toy. He's got toys and treats. Ooh, I can't wait. All right, we are going to give him his first one. Ugh, I don't know why I just smelled these, but they, they smell honestly kind of weird. They look like they're purple. I hope this is gonna be okay for him. Come here. It. Okay. Mm. You have to chew it. You want the other one. Okay. <laughs> He's got two in his mouth. I can't give you any more. You have to eat those first, dork. <laughs> Wait, this is actually hilarious. <gasps> he doesn't like it, you guys. 
Do you not like it? This dog will eat anything. Let me just reassure you that if he doesn't eat this, this is kind of bizarre. Do you guys want your treats for the day? <gasps> Do we want our treats? You gotta put one in each hand. For each of them, okay? Shake. Ooh. Shake. Camper. What? Camper. Camper, sit. Is this for Camper? You can give whoever you want. It has been a hot second because it's already Thursday and it is Thursday evening, Thursday night. I stand corrected. It is 10 o'clock. I worked today, I nannied, and then I've just been kind of relaxing, took a shower, been doing a little bit of studying in like 20 minute increments. I'm going to try to do a little bit more studying before I go to bed. I have a final next week i also have this huge ass assignment that is due on saturday and then i also have another assignment that's due tomorrow and that is oh yeah that is our remediation hours sorry i can just see how i look right now and i look like a disaster but it's kind of how i feel right now too i just have a lot that needs to get done in a short period of time and i just want it to be done if that makes sense i've been kind of just going through my planner and adding any other things that i want to if you guys haven't watched my videos before this is my nursing school planner from planner five this is the entire month of december here i absolutely love it it is a planner specifically made for nursing students it has little nursing tips here if you guys want to check it out or if you are interested I have a link down below in my description box that can get you 10% off of your order. I'm just checking off some boxes here because that is really, really satisfying. And yeah, let's, let's get back to work. Good morning guys. It is Friday morning around 8. I have been up for a couple hours, did a little bit of studying early in the morning, got ready, let camper out, and now I am on my way to go volunteer. My school requires us to volunteer for a minimal of 10 hours per term. So with that being said, I'm on my way to a local place. How do I describe it? I'll record some stuff while I'm in there to volunteer for five hours and then my CLA hours will be completed and I can really focus on studying now. So, good morning. I know I said I was gonna bring you guys in there, but I was just busy and it was really, really cold. My hands were frozen. But basically, the place that I volunteered at was called a rescue ranch and it's this huge kind of estate garage cell where 
all the money and the donations and the profit goes towards taking care of these horses that are rescued and yeah it's really awesome i think i'm gonna go back there and volunteer for my next term because i need to do volunteer hours then as well but yeah that was really good i am freezing and i am starving so i'm in line at starbucks right now i'm gonna get some grub and then run to the post office i have some of your guys's etsy orders in here and then get immediately started on some homework assignments actually i take that back i only have one assignment that's due only have one left and then studying study 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 can i do the turkey bacon cheddar and egg white sandwich okay what else for you and then a medium hot chocolate medium hot chocolate and then a piece of pumpkin bread do you want the pumpkin bread warmed up sure what else and that's it 11 45 the window thank you Ooh, so not healthy but it is the holidays sorry Oh, sorry. Thank you. Thank you. next day the next evening to be exact come on campy and now i'm about to go to bed <laughs> i suck i know that's because i have been doing school all day i just want to say hi to campy oh he's so sleepy see he's tired of me doing school too he wants to hang out i just turned in my last assignment for this term a nursing school feels so amazing and great like i am so thrilled i feel so relieved and now i can truly start focusing on my final that's in a couple of days that i really need to start studying for and then i'll have an entire month off for christmas break and i hope you guys do too if you're in nursing school right now probably by the time this video is actually posted you will be done with your finals and you'll be in your christmas break so i hope you guys are really enjoying it it's crazy because we basically get an entire month off i'm not sure how long of a break you guys are getting but it's pretty close to a month for me so that is so exciting and so happy and i'm so 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 ready for it but i'm going to end the vlog here the realistic week in my life as a nursing student nothing crazy life has just been about school about my dog that is pretty much the gist of it these days school camper <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you're taking care i hope you guys are doing awesome and having a great end to your year and also ready to bring in the new year it's always the best feeling ever if you are on break right now please don't forget to take time for yourself and enjoy it because i know it can be chaotic and hectic with christmas and family and a lot going on but don't forget to take time for yourself be proud of yourself be positive take care of yourself talk kindly to yourself just a couple little reminders because we could all use that even myself so thank you guys again so so much for watching and again do not forget to enter the giveaway that i mentioned at the very beginning of this video all the information will be down below in the description box you guys are amazing i hope you know that so i will see you guys in my next video it's not a proper goodbye without my best friend leave me alone i'm trying to sleep Camper.